Hello and welcome to One Minute Maya. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your ambient occlusion maps along with your texture maps. I'm going to show you a few techniques on how to utilise it and make it look good. If you are unsure on how to make an ambient occlusion map, I've got a tutorial that I've made a while ago. I'll put it in the description below. OK, so I'm using Marmoset Toolbag to quickly preview the texture changes. Here is um, my Vespa with a normal specular and texture map. Currently the texture map does not have a ambient occlusion layer on it so what I'll do is go into Photoshop, stick it on and set it to multiply and we'll see what we get. Save that. As you can see it's quite harsh, it's very very dark and um, personally I don't really like how harsh it is. Um, so you can either change the opacity of it to make it lighter. Have a look what that looks like. So that's looking a bit better. But what I want to show you next is um, how to change the colour of the ambient occlusion to a brownish colour so it looks like dirt or dust. So to do this we need to go back into Photoshop going to change the opacity back to 100 again and set it to a normal setting. OK, create a new layer, pick a colour that you want the dirt and dust to be, so sort of like a warm brownish colour, OK, and then use the bucket tool on the new layer to make the colour, OK, hide it temporarily, go click on your ambient occlusion layer go to your channels and control click the blue thumbnail, the blue channel thumbnail. What this will do is make a quick mask of your ambient occlusion. So you go back into your layers tab, select your dirt colour and then click this symbol here which will add a layer mask. What that's done is taken the ambient occlusion information and applied it to your dirt layer. At the moment it's uh, inverted so what we need to do is select our layer mask, press Ctrl I and that will invert it. And if we hide our ambient occlusion underneath we can even delete it because we don't need it anymore. You can see it's working correctly. We'll take a quick save of this and see the results in Mom's it. As you can see that's looking a lot better, it's a bit too light but we can adjust that. Go back into Photoshop, click our layer, press Ctrl U and this will bring up the hue and saturation values. Obviously the hue will change the colour, be dirt, saturation, controls how saturated or desaturated it is de desaturates it slightly and also see your brightness let's make it a bit darker ok save this and then go back into Marmoset now it's looking a lot better now it's just a few techniques of how to use ambient occlusion in Photoshop Hope you found it useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.